You're faced with a dilemma, selecting the best roofing system for your building. You've decided an SBS system is the way to go. Good choice. Now for the tough decisions. What system do you choose? Whose products do you use? Which one to buy? Not all SBS systems are alike. Why not talk to the company who invented SBS roofing systems over 25 years ago? SBS modified bitumen roofing systems were developed by Seaplast in the 60s to address performance problems associated with conventional built-up roofs. Changes in building design resulted in a move to lighter, more highly insulated structures. Roof membranes were required to perform over a whole new generation of stresses, both environmental and mechanical. These new requirements necessitated new thinking, a new direction, a new concept in roofing. In roof systems, the bottom ply absorbs approximately 80% of the stresses from the structure. For that reason, the base ply became the most important element of the new design, the first line of defense against destructive substrate movement. After many years of research and testing, the new membrane took form, a new two-ply design incorporating a heavy elastomeric base ply developed specifically to absorb stresses imposed by the substrate and a highly weatherable elastomeric top ply built to resist increased environmental abuse including extreme heat and frigid cold and formulated to resist the ever-present aging effects of oxygen. It was now critical to evaluate the new design. To accomplish this, a test was developed which would accurately duplicate the movement of the substrate. This new procedure, the cyclic fatigue test, has since become a standard in the industry. The cyclic fatigue test apparatus starts with a normal separation gap of two millimeters, is mechanically compressed to one millimeter, then elongated out to three millimeters. This process is repeated automatically, over and over, expanded and contracted 500 times, all at minus 10 degrees centigrade. Through the use of time-lapse photography, we're able to record a standard 15-minute cycle every four seconds. When manufactured with a properly formulated SBS modified bitumen blend, this roof system design easily surpasses the 500 cycle duration of the cyclic fatigue test, as demonstrated by this sample of Paradeon 2030. Its elastomeric characteristics exceed performance requirements. Unfortunately, no two-ply SBS modified bitumen systems on the market today are the same. SBS blend quality and sheet thicknesses differ widely. The graphs tell the story. They depict test results both before and after aging. In each case, the C-Plast product results are first on the left. As you can see, their superiority is obvious in such important areas as cold weather flexibility, elongation at loss of water tightness, and ultimate elongation. What does all this mean? Simply that on the roof where the product must perform, some won't. This competitive two-ply SBS system sample was assembled, applied, and conditioned exactly as was the CPLAS Paradeon 2030 sample seen a few moments ago. You'll notice that the sample breaks on the third cycle. There. The break was to the right of the working joint. Let's look at that again. An overhead view shows it even better. Remember, this was just the third cycle in a 500 cycle test procedure. Our point is, two-ply SBS modified membranes can look a lot alike, but you can't compare them on looks alone. There's so much more to consider when deciding on a membrane. Earlier we stated that the first SBS membranes were developed in the 60s by Seaplast as two-ply systems. Another design surfaced some years later, combining two plies of conventional fiberglass felt with an SBS weathering ply. These hybrid systems are simply built-up roofs with a modified cap sheet. Because this hybrid design incorporates products with dissimilar performance characteristics, components work independently of each other rather than together, as is the case with the Paradeon 2030 system. Our model would predict that a working joint would fracture the inelastic two-ply built-up base, leaving a single ply of SBS to protect the structure. 
Using the cyclic fatigue apparatus, the samples were mounted and conditioned the same as in the previous tests. Note the deformation and separation of the inelastic base assembly after just one cycle. And as the cycles continue, the problem just gets worse. The cyclic fatigue test confirms the prediction. You're left with a single ply of waterproofing at the point of stress, the very spot where the roof is most vulnerable. So back to our dilemma. What system do you choose? Whose products do you use? Which one to buy? When choosing a SBS roofing system, there is a difference between products. There is a difference between systems. There is a difference.